Hey guys, welcome to another edition of The Blue Review. Today we are talking about X-Men Origin Wolverine from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. After the success of the first three X-Men movies, um, Marvel and Fox were sort of looking for a different direction to take it in. Now, they had first thought about doing an Origins uh, film with Magneto, but they decided that they would go with Wolverine first, since he was the most popular character. Hugh Jackman reprises his role, and this sort of goes from uh, his character as a little boy uh, all the way up to when he loses his memory, which we know if we've seen the first film or uh, you know any of the subsequent films. Um, Danny Houston is in this, who plays his sort of rival, and Elise Schreiber plays his brother, Victor. Um, it, it basically takes you through their whole life, but it does it at such a kind of breakneck speed that you really get nothing truly substantial. And there are a lot of sort of emotional shifts in this movie that I just don't think work. Um, there's a lot about this movie that I thought could have been a lot better. Really, the story of Wolverine and Sabretooth is a kind of a Cain and Abel story. And I think that had they explored that aspect of it consistently throughout the film, it probably would have been a lot better. Now, if you're just looking for a good action movie, I don't even know that this qualifies. There are a couple of really good action sequences in this, uh, but uh, the, big, the first big fight between Wolverine and Sabretooth is just ruined thanks to the editing. I mean, it's like punch, cut, punch, cut, punch. And it's so, it's so chopped up, it, it, it just makes it too chaotic. Um, that you really don't get anything out of it. Um, there are a couple of good action sequences where Hugh Jackman is on a motorcycle being chased by a helicopter, but it's kind of ruined thanks to a lot of shoddy CGI work that just looks absolutely fake. Um, the best part about this movie, obviously, is Hugh Jackman's performance. He, he, he did just as good a job in this one as he did in the first three movies, which I thought was spectacular. He really is able to bring that character to life and give it a lot of uh, character and substance. Uh, and again, I think Lee Schreiber did a good job with, with Sabretooth, but the script was really weak, and it tried to pack way too much into the film uh, that just wasn't necessary. Overall, I think it's a decent enough movie. I mean, I gotta be honest, I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. And for what it was worth, I thought it was okay. Now, the picture quality in this one was pretty excellent. Um, there's a lot of landscapes and vistas and waterfalls and, and mountains and all kinds of stuff that was really brought to life in, in magnificent definition and color uh, in, this, in this disc. I thought that the picture quality on this one was definitely up there, about a four and a half star, bordering on a five, really bordering on a five, uh, and it had a really good audio track. So I, I think if you liked Origins, uh, definitely this disc will not disappoint. That's it. Peace.